Hi, welcome to an episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the scopes that I have. These are only like four or five, four I think, that I have, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about them. So, before we get into that, uh, remember, hit that subscribe button down below, hit those thumbs up, hit the bell to notify when I have new videos coming in, and share these videos. So... Yeah, let's get the subscribers up. Yeah, yeah, up, up here. Get them, get them up there. Okay, so um, I'm basically just going to run through some of the scopes. Um, Going to have quite a few scopes. Yeah. Um, so I want to bring in up some of the more better scopes, I guess you could say. I'm I'm not I'm not sure how to say that, but yeah, we're gonna talk about a few of them. So the first one I'm gonna talk about here. Let's see, nope, not that one. Uh, there we go. Okay, is this ten point scope? I think it's a ten point scope because I got it with my uh, ten point crossbow. Um, it's a decent scope. Um, I do have them mounted on one of my crossbows, and I think I was kind of sighted in, but I'm not, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's just, um, um, well, you know, one of, the, one of the scopes that I have. Let's see. Yep, yeah, there we go. Um, it doesn't have any markings or anything on it, um, but uh, from what I gather, this is just um, some of the scopes that 10 Point has. The Rangemaster Pro Scope, the three times Pro View three scope, and the multi line scope, and I think this is the multi line scope. But I'm not 100. percent It doesn't look like it because it doesn't have the markings on it. But uh, um, but ten scope ten point does have some of their own scopes, um, so. I've heard, I've only heard that the that Range Master Pro Scope is an excellent scope. But uh, this scope here is, like I said, it, uh, um, it does pretty good. had good, decent glass in it and stuff. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I have used it. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about here real briefly is the uh, 10 point, or say the ATN scope. Now, the ATN scope is the most expensive scope that I have. It's a, uh, it does have a video capture, one shot, uh, um, capability. Um, uh, it has, you know, the SD card in there. Um, and a whole bunch of other features on it that I like. Um, but again, it's a pretty heavy scope um, and long. It's a pretty long scope. But again, it's, uh, it is a very, very well put together scope. Now, one thing I, I'm going to let you guys know. I have been told that this uh, Excite 4K is still going to be legal here in Utah, even though it has a nighttime capability. But I've also been told that as long as I don't have the illuminator mounted on the scope, I'm good. However, um, I am going to be going to law enforcement for the BLM here uh, probably the next, I'm hoping within the next week or two. To get clarification on that, but uh, uh, I will be doing that. I said probably the next week or two. I'm not quite sure when, because uh, I got a pretty busy schedule coming up. So I don't know exactly. As I got the time right now, as you, as you know by now, that uh, the string on my uh, Wicked Ridge NXT 400 broke. I got everything sent in. I'm just waiting 
uh, for it to be sent back. So uh, I'm just I'm just waiting on that. But um, as you see right here, it has um, your recording capability. It has your yards, um, your up and down windage, wind um, time, and your levels on it. Um, it does come with the three the three rings to help mount it. Uh, the the zoom and control wheel right here. It's on the side, your left and your right, your recording buttons, your power buttons, everything's right there. In easy, easy, easy reach. Um, so you can see from this video, they're using the one site uh, shot. Um, you can connect with other people with, with your scope. You can also uh, look at the scope off of another different screen and so on and so forth. It has its own ballistics calculator. We and Again, I've done a video on this uh, a while back, but uh, um, you can stream it for 720, record at 1080, and it has an Ultra HD sensors on it. Um, like I said, one, a one shot. But again, it's really, really, really an excellent scope. Um, the next one I'm going to touch on, next thing I'm going to touch on here real quickly is that I have is this uh, optimizer speed dial that I have on one of my crossbows. Um, it's really a, an easy to use dial. Um, it comes in at about 239 on their site um, right here. But again, it's really a, an excellent accessory if you don't have the money to buy an expensive scope. Um, I guess it, it does have the uh, come with you know, right here, the HHA, HHA Sports Speed Dial. And it does, again, they have another one that comes with the uh, scope. With the, with the scope. Um, oh, this is something new. The Vertex Scope and Speed Dial Kit. This is a new. That is interesting. Very interesting. Let's click on that real quick. And yeah, but it looks, it looks like it is choosing a uh, a regular. Let's see, three it looks like a three by nine by forty scope. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go over here. The op, op, it only has the one kit. Okay, um, that is quite interesting. I'm thinking, yeah, that looks that looks like the um, uh, uh, lighted scope right there, huh? That is quite interesting. I did not know that. Wow. Okay. So I didn't know it came with the Vertex scope. That is, that just blows me away now. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a very nice dial. So I'm going to have to think about using that. With my scope, I'm going to just have to think about that one. Um, as, uh, I like that. I like that setup. Okay, so moving on. 
Um, I have the, the other, you know, the center point, um, four by 32. I have mounted on one of my crossbows. Um, I like this scope. It has good glass, but it's, it seemed like it, uh, wanted to, um, um, wander every once in a while. Um, so it's an okay scope, but, um, uh, I've been trying to find some more information about this scope. Um, but the only thing I can find, because I, I can't find the Patriot 415 that I have, uh, but most like, looks like most of uh, center point crossbows do come with the 4x32 scope. Um, but uh, they don't, I can't find any information on their scope on the, um, on, on their on their website I guess because it's just a standard former 32 scope I don't I think uh, I'm not sure but uh, I really didn't care for it because it seemed like after every like 10 15 shots it kind of wandered just a little bit not much but just not enough to keep it zeroed in for me uh, could have been me I don't know but uh, let's see the next. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about the one we're working with right now is the uh, the Vertex uh, Centerfire Two Seven by Thirty Seven by Thirty Two Crossbow Kit. Um, it's been a little rough. For me to sight in this scope, um, but because uh, it is to me, it's a, a little backwards. Um, when I say backwards, I'm used to when it goes, when it says up, it goes up, when it goes down, it goes down, when you say right, it goes right, and, and, so, and so forth. You get the picture. Uh, but this particular scope, uh, when it says up, when it's actually going down, and when it goes down, it actually goes up, and to the right, it goes to the right, it goes to the left, and when I say right, it goes to the left. Yeah, you guys get the picture. But uh, uh, again, it's a very nice, clear, very clear uh, scope. So. I am going, but again, I'm going to look into using the optimizer with that scope. Um, I'm going to have to give it a try. It's going to be a lot of work with that. Uh, so I'm not sure where uh, to start my um, ranging with that scope. It's at 20 I think it's got to be centered at 20 yards. Move back to 40, make sure we're good at 40, and then back to 60. Um, so I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to look into it. I'll start to see if I can find any videos on YouTube if anybody's been doing that. Um, because it's, it's new to me, totally new to me. And I'm, I'm glad that, you know, that the, the Vortex and Optimizer got together to make the kit. It's really neat. Uh, but 450 bucks. Yeah, that's kind of steep. That is kind of steep. But, uh, uh, let's go back to that there. Uh, let's see. Want to extend the range and accuracy of your crossbow. Look no further than the Optimizer Speed Dot Crossbow Sighting System Kit, the Vortex 3, and I'm at 40 scope and optimizer. Huh. Again, we'll have to um, take a look at it and see what we got. 
So this was just a kind of just a a quick rundown on some of my um, scopes. Um, I got, like I said, the ATM, which is my most expensive scope. And I really, really, really like that because I can do a lot of things with it. Uh, plus, you know, capture my video of my shots of my shooting when I get out there and do my hunt. Um, that's what I really like, like about it. So, but again, I, I will be going to law enforcement to find out if that is still a legal scope. But uh, if I had to um, rate them, it would start out with the ATN down to the vortex and then, maybe, then, then the uh, uh, optimizer to help with the ranging of my scopes. Um, but as far as the center point crossbow scope and the and the 10 point, I think I guess I think it was a 10 point. Um, I would stay away from those. Um, but again, it, it's all going to depend on your budget uh, and getting those uh, scopes. But uh, well, uh, but the Vortex um, is my second best scope that I have right now. Um, but again, I got a little more work to do with it. And I guess I might take a look at the speed dial with that too. So, that's all, that's all I have for you right now. Um, I got uh, a hellacious windstorm outside which is the front to, they say, rain over the next couple of days. So I'll be shut up, shut up, shut, 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 shut down. Shut up, shut up, yeah. Shut down for a couple of days. Plus I have to go to um, Salt Lake uh, on Wednesday. But um, but again, this, I, I, again, I want to let you guys know, I pre-record all my videos ahead of time. Um, so things are bound to change here and there, but yeah, I am going to Salt Lake for a couple of days and I'm not looking forward to that trip. Uh, but, um, but anyways, um, hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate when you guys take out the time, your time of your day to watch my videos. Uh, I give you guys a thumbs up for doing that. Uh, I, cause I know it takes a lot out. Especially if you watch a lot of videos like I do. Because I'm constantly watching videos on products. And stuff that I might be interested in. Uh, but um, yeah. So um, with that said. Remember. Get out there and hunt. And see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter. Thank you for watching Utah Crossbow Hunter. And remember. Family first. Take care of your family. By all means, get out there and hunt. And hit that subscribe button down below before you take off. Do it now. And see you later.